Now, one of the many ways that helps us understand history, history better is studying the art of a particular time period. On that note, our Im Yuni joins us today with a look at some works from the Joseon Dynasty. Good afternoon, Yuni. Good afternoon. So, if you want to get a better sense of the Joseon Dynasty, uh, you can do so by looking at art such as their lacquerware box, which they are known for, uh, beautiful inlaid with mother of pearl. But you could also look at some of the paintings, as some of the Joseon Dynasty painters have gone on to be some of the most legendary painters in Korea. History. So take a look at this next report. One of the most precious treasures from the Joseon Dynasty, lacquerware inlaid with mother of pearl. The shimmering works of art were most commonly made during the Goryeo and Joseon Dynasties, and few authentic relics remain in Korea. The historical trend was to use motifs to make memorable paintings and drawings that can be appreciated in the future. The Horim Museum has recently gathered a collection of 90 pieces of Joseon Dynasty lacquerware, and now they're on display for the people of Korea to enjoy. Across the river, another museum is offering a look at a different aspect of the Joseon Dynasty's art culture. These timeless paintings open a window into the peaceful and serene settings. Works by legendary artists such as Kim Hong-do and Jung Sun pave the way for modern and contemporary painters such as Chung Jeon Lee Sang-bom. And Song Jung Byun Kwon Sik. Song Jung Lee Sang Bom's works are similar to something you would see from a camera's angle. On the other hand, So Jung Byun Kwon Sik's works transform the scene. Thirty masterpiece paintings, done by artists of different styles and from different periods in time, come together for this unique look into Korea's historical paintings. I think I do recognize some of the painter's names. Right. Of course, Kim Hong-do, of course, is a very exactly. legendary artist. Right. So this exhibition is very special because it was actually put together by some collectors who over the past 60 years went around and uh, looking for some of these very rare paintings. Uh, now, a lot of these artists are very familiar to Korea and to the Korean people as they are some of the most legendary artists um, in Asia, in fact, and they are really com considered uh, some of the top artists there. Right. And speaking of uh, lacquer box, I mean, last year, wasn't there news about the Goryeo Dynasty? Dynasty lacquer box being returned right. from uh, Japan to Korea. Right, so big news on the art front. So that particular lacquer box was considered only one of eight to still be known to be in existence right now. But with the other Joseon Dynasty lacquer boxes, now these are very special as well. They're inlaid with things like abalone, mother of pearl, even uh, ox bone sheets. And so hmm. some very interesting works there. And you can see this at the exhibition. They really do lay out a series of different, you can see the boxes, you can see other little fans and all the different uh, uh, types of tools and uh, household furniture that they put in the lacquerware into. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people are mostly aware of mother and used to mother of pearl, right, right. but not really used to being seeing a lacquer box with abalone. Right, you'll see <laughs> so that one will there, be right? really interesting. All of them there. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Juni, for joining us today and sharing this story with us today. You're very welcome.